Welcome back to Base Watches, your trusted source for all things horology. Today, we're diving into the world of dive watches as we unveil our top four alternatives to the iconic Seiko SKX-007. Renowned for its ruggedness and reliability, the 07 has long been a favorite among watch enthusiasts. But if you're looking for something different, something that offers a fresh take on dive watch excellence, you're in the right place. Join us as we explore four outstanding alternatives that offer their own unique blend of style, performance, and craftsmanship. Whether you're a seasoned diver or simply appreciate the allure of a quality timepiece, get ready to discover your next dive watch obsession right here on Base Watches. First up is the Orient Mako View. It has a similar bold design to the 07, but it offers a metallic blue dial option in addition to the black. It also has numerals at the 6, 9, and 12 o'clock positions instead of the 07's thick dots. The date window is similarly high visibility, although there's a decorative divider between the day and date. In terms of overall look and feel, the Mako Tai is slightly smaller than the 07, but only slightly. It's 41.5mm in diameter and 13mm thick. Unless you measure it with a set of calipers, you won't notice much of a difference. It does feature a scratch-resistant mineral crystal, which makes it slightly more rugged. Around the outside, a gear-style steel bezel features understated white markings on a black background. The bezel is unidirectional, with a 120-click rotation, so you can adjust it in 30-second increments. The Mako Hughes movement is a caliber F6922. Because I generally review automatic watches, I should point out that this movement is hand wound. The power reserve is 40 hours, so it's not like you have to wind it constantly. The best thing to do is wind it every morning so you don't forget. It's also easy to set. The crown is hacking, so you can easily correct for small inaccuracies if your movement runs a second or two fast. Like any respectable dive watch, the Mac OTI is water resistant to 200 meters of depth. The crown has a screw down design, so it won't accidentally pull out just because it got snagged. The steel band is understated compared to the 007's, with a simpler 3-link design instead of the 007's busier 5-link band. The dial on the Citizen NY0040 has heavy, chunky loom indexes that are nearly identical to the 007's. However, they appear pale green in daylight as well as in darkness. The case is a medium-weight 42mm case that has plenty of wrist presence without being overbearing. It's 12 millimeters thick, which is relatively thin for the size. It features a mineral crystal, which offers plenty of clarity, along with being scratch-resistant for plenty of durability. The bezel alternates between smooth and scalloped sections around its circumference. It has a 60-click unidirectional rotation, which allows for easy adjustment for most purposes. It has an automatic Miyota movement with 45 hours of reserve power when fully wound. However, there's no charge indicator like you'll find on some citizens, but after wearing it regularly for a few days or hand-winding it, you'll have complete charge. The NY0040 is water-resistant to 200 meters, and like most dive watches, it has a screw-down crown. The crown is located at 8 o'clock instead of the traditional right-side location. This is a blessing for right-handed individuals since it won't dig into your wrist when you're wearing your watch on your left hand. The band is blue rubber. It doesn't have the same quality look as a metal band, but it does have a dive chart printed on the side for a more sporty look. The Seiko SKX009 is in the same series as the 07, so it shares a lot of similarities, but there are also a few important differences worth noting. The most noticeable difference is the bezel. While the 07 features a plain black bezel, the 009's bezel has a two-tone design, with red from 0 to 20 minutes and navy blue from 20 to 60. This allows for easy timing, since 20 minutes is the most common time limit for beginning divers with a single tank. You can also adjust the bezel in 30-second increments, thanks to the 120-click unidirectional design. The dial itself is virtually identical to the 07's. It has the same black face, the same loom hands, and a similar day and date window, although both the day and the date are printed in black. The case is 42mm in diameter and 13mm thick, also identical to the 07. However, it features a hardlex crystal, which is shock resistant. It also has a screw in back. For everyday purposes, this doesn't have any advantages. However, it makes it easier to perform maintenance, since removing the case back is easier as is replacing it. The 009 utilizes the same 7's 26 automatic movement as the 07. It has a 41-hour power reserve, which is enough to leave it in your drawer for a day and a half without needing to reset it. 
The stainless steel band is also identical to the 07s. It has a five-link design, which might look busy to some eyes, but is very flexible and secure. Water resistance is rated for 200 meters with a secure, screw-down crown located at 4 o'clock. The Dan Henry 1970 is the most unique of all my choices, but it still has a lot to offer. The dial is a satin black with plenty of negative space that creates a more formal look. There's no day and date window and no complications whatsoever. The only indexes are at the five minute marks and they're fat tan rectangles. There is, however, a small chapter ring with single minute indexes and small numerals at the five minute marks. The bulk of the chapter ring is black, but the top right quadrant is orange. This isn't quite the same as a two-tone bezel, but it serves a similar function, and it pairs well with the inner rotating bezel, which has discrete indexes at the minute marks and numerals every 10 minutes. The case itself is slightly narrower and slightly thicker than the 07, at 40 mm in diameter and 14.8 mm in thickness. It's constructed from polished stainless steel with a slightly domed crystal. The domed shape isn't enough to cause any distortion, but it's enough to add an attractive touch to a relatively spartan watch. The case is rated for 200 meters of submersion, just as you'd expect from a good diving watch, and there are two separate screw-down crowns. The 4 o'clock crown is used to set the time, while the 2 o'clock crown is used to adjust the inner rotating bezel. The Dan Henry 1970 features a Seiko Caliber Ang 35 movement, which moves just as smoothly as the 7S26 movement that's found in the Seiko SKX series. It also has an identical 41-hour power reserve. The watch band is rubber, which can be a good or a bad thing depending on your preferences. That said, it has an attractive diamond hash pattern and is available in four different colors. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Base Watches for more captivating content about the world of horology. And if any of the featured watches caught your eye, be sure to check the links in the description for more information. Stay tuned to Base Watches for future videos where we continue to showcase the best watches from around the world. Until next time, keep ticking and stay stylish with Base Watches. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.